Let me let me uh, cross over and leave, make this my last because you said something that starts sparked some interest in me. You said Gennady Golovkin is starting to cross over into that realm where he could do no right, where he's got to you know now people want him to fight Ward or move up to 175 and fight Sergey Kovalov. Um, what do you think is going to be that necessary fight that's going to put him on not necessarily Mayweather level, but on the level where the love is no more longer there and now people just want to see him lose because he's too good. Well, if he keep going at this rate, it's going, he's going to go there. The level that they're bringing back over to the public's favor is like Mike Tyson years ago. When Mike Tyson was fighting, people aren't going to respect the situation until they say, he's fighting the guy, and I think this guy can beat him legitimately. Connecticut left and called out Bernard Hopkins. He said, and it was, he was absolutely right, he said Bernard went from 60 to light heavyweight and beat Tarver, beat the best guy in the business, the, the legend killer. So Gennady Golovkin, you know, hungry for his cut in history. It's like, I'm going to do the same thing this whole time I did, only I'm going to beat him, the guy who did it before. So he said he would jump to light heavyweight before. So that, that statement is going to come back and they're going to throw that at him when they want to see him fight Kovalev for one of these guys that light heavyweight. Because you, 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 was you just willing to do that because Bernard was old? Or were you willing to jump? Because when Bernard jumped from middleweight to light heavyweight, Tarva was in his groove. Oh, no, I mean, I, I, I'm going to step in and say that he, uh, they obviously said that for publicity because they said the same thing for Carl Frotch and Julio Cesar Chavez. They said they would go up to 168 to fight Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. or 168 to fight Carl Frotch. Uh, because those are pay-per-view fights, but if they had to fight Ward, it would be at 164, 50-50 per split at that. That was the offer sent to Ward. Uh, we actually interviewed Virgil Hunter uh, in Las Vegas about a week ago, um, and uh, we, you know, we spoke to him about it, and he, there's no reason for them to come down to 164. Uh, and, and that's what people don't understand. Some fight fans is like, why is he making catchweights with certain fighters and not with all? Gennady Golovkin, he's a beast, he's a monster. He can make fights if they want fights. And they will eventually. You know what I mean? They will eventually. But, you know, Carl and I call Frodo and these guys catch weights and whatnot, you know. He just called a bunch of names that have done their work. He still got work to do. Them Frodo's and stuff, they, them, dudes is, them dudes is written in. They, 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 they didn't did their work already. Well, all right, Nazim, uh, thank you for your time.